All right, yo, what's up? When you're watching this video, Zhao's gonna be coming in about two days and Ganyu's gonna be going away in about two days, okay? Now, hopefully none of y'all are experiencing crazy anxiety and FOMO, AKA the age old business practice of fear of missing out. Yeah, you know, Ganyu's going away. We already know, established, she's the best DPS in the game. She's the best sub DPS in the game. She's the best support in the game. And she enabled me to beat the entire Spiral Abyss blindfolded. Yes, she is absolutely broken. Now there's also another demographic. Are you a waifu player? Well, good news is Ganyu has boobies. Zhao has a penis. <laughs> So, if you're a waifu player, congratulations. You will also be pulling for Ganyu. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I did a poll. Okay, I did a poll on my community tab about who do you want to pull for? Zhao, Ganyu, Hu Tao, who are you most excited for? Zhao, Hu Tao, Ganyu, some other character. The overwhelming majority of people picked Zhao. Now, I don't know, and I can't confirm or deny, we don't know what the hell is going on through Mahoyo's head, but if they make Zhao more OP than Ganyu, AKA the best DPS, the best sub DPS, the best support. And Ganyu is already like that. And then before she came to live, they buffed her again, taking her alt from 75% uptime and making it 100%. Who the hell knows what Mahoyo might do with Zhao? If they're afraid of the community getting freaked out again, because their favorite character, it doesn't break the goddamn game. And keep in mind, yo, Zhang Li's getting his buff too at 1.3. Keep in mind, yeah. I'm gonna be making so many goddamn videos about Zhongli breaking the game. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. If you don't believe me that Zhongli is going to take this game and make it seem like a goddamn toddler's game. I don't know what they're gonna do before Zhao gets released. Hopefully nothing. From what I've heard, his game state on the test servers is fine. It's great. I, I don't know if they're gonna make Zhao more OP than Ganyu. I I'm, I'm very worried because I'm worried about the power scaling of this game, but I don't wanna talk about that yet. I wanna talk about for people who are still on the fence of whether they're going to summon on these last two days for Ganyu, or if they're going to continue to save their primos and pull for Zhao, or the alternative of skipping both. I wanna talk about all that. This video is gonna be pretty much pointless in two days, but I see a lot of people worried about this, so I just wanna do a quick update video, and you know, I didn't stream for the past few days on Twitch.tv for just tech. I'm gonna be streaming again today, but if you have any questions over the next two days, just join me on my Twitch. It'll be in the link in the description of the pinned comment. Enough self-promotion, let's get into the video. Okay, Ganyu. Now, Ganyu is a character that is going to be a fine Y, AKA it's going to get better with age. Because here's the thing, the more you build, the more you invest in the Ganyu, she's like a con, like, like, like an endless pit of scaling for your weapons, for your items, for her strength, her attack, her defense, her HP, all that shit. Every new point you put in the Ganyu is going to explode ridiculously. And the reason why that is, is because her scaling is so absolutely ludicrously absurd, okay? Let's keep in mind, okay? Her Frost Flake arrow damage is 218%. That also hits for 370% on top of that, meaning that she has a near 600% scaling ability at max level on a zero cooldown besides charge time, okay? For reference, Tartalia's alt at level 11 is almost 900, okay? But this has a cooldown of 15. Ganyu's shot has a charge uh, or cooldown time of zero. You count charge time, maybe about a second and a half, okay? So the scaling is absolutely ridiculous. Do I think they're gonna make Zhao more broken than that? I fucking hope not. I fucking hope not. Now let's also continue. Not only is her scaling ridiculous, okay? She can also taunt, okay? Meaning that on certain scenarios, there is a zero chance of her getting hit because she's going to drop down a flower and they're going to hit that. But wait, you don't run Zhao or gotten you like a DPS like other people, you run her sub DPS like me? Well then congratulations. Whatever's on the field isn't going to fucking get hit because there's a fucking E taunting them. So uh, let me continue because I'm gonna lose my mind about this character because she's so ridiculous. She's so fucking ridiculous. It, 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 it truly boggles the mind. Celestial shower, AOE, all consume, a 15 second duration alt with a 15 second cooldown that starts the moment you start the alt. Meaning, this alt has zero cooldown. Evan, what the hell are you doing? Okay. All right, cat. Now look, 15 second duration, 
15 second cooldown. Each ice shard 134% damage. And let me tell you, a lot of ice shards are going to be hitting and this ability is yes, AOE. So the other thing is, is that this alt is not just damage because it's the cryo element, meaning that you can mix and match your elemental synergies to use things like melt to deal more damage, superconduct to do more damage, or you can do frozen or shattered to CC them and do more damage at a zero risk to anybody getting hit in the entire party. This character is absolutely ridiculous. Not to mention the artifact that you can farm for her is very easy. Yes, you could go charge shot. You could go charge shot, but I don't think anybody's trying to farm elemental bosses to get one drop of artifacts every 40 resin. Yeah, I find it absolutely ludicrous. So people are unironically recommending to go uh, the, the charge shot build on Ganyu without even thinking for a second. Dog, you know that's 40 resin for a shot of one artifact piece to use on Ganyu over spend 20 resin for a chance at one, two, two guaranteed of one or two sets that you could use on Ganyu, okay? A 50-50. A 50-50, it's ridiculous. I like Blizzard Strayer. I feel like it's so much more solid. It's so much more consistent. And the best thing is it helps you hit stat lines that are otherwise difficult to hit, okay? Or difficult to hit, AKA uh, uh, like a decent crit rate, like a decent crit rate on her. Uh, that way, all of your shit and your crit damage is consistent, okay? Unless you just go headshot build, which is totally fine. Okay, but Wanderer's Trope, that shit is a pain to farm. The point that I'm getting is that Ganyu is very, very, very broken. Yes, people recommending you to use Amos Bow on <laughs> you as your DPS is quite ridiculous. I agree, it's quite ridiculous. Being like, oh, hey, for all you free to play players, uh, go on you and then 90 her and then use all legendary artifacts and then plus 20 all of them and then max out all her talents. Oh, and go ahead and get the legendary five-star bow. That's what you should be using for Ganyu DPS. That's why I think Ganyu's best role is a DPS, okay. Or you can also just go stringless and run her as a sub DPS, or you can just get C6 forehead and use almost bow and then, it, hey, it's fine again. Yeah, free to play. Just go ahead and C6 her. No, you can just use stringless and stringless works great on her as a support. It'll increase her alt damage. It'll increase her skill damage. And it'll give her some more elemental mastery for melt and all that shit. Okay, so sub DPS got you. So not only is she incredibly free to play friendly at C0, uh, her constellations are also crazy, crazy awesome. Uh, because keep in mind, her C1, which is still in the realms of some free-to-play if you get a little bit lucky, is also nuts. You don't have to go too deep to get one of her best constellations, which in my opinion, the C1 is absolutely crazy. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. So yeah. Now, here's the thing with Zhao. Now, obviously, I can't show any footage. I can't confirm nor deny anything with Ganyu or, or anything with Zhao uh, without pissing Mahoyo off. And I'm not gonna lie, Mahoyo has been nothing but sweet to me. But I'm gonna do a quick run of things with Ganyu while giving y'all my thoughts on Zhao, okay? Now look, Zhao's base attack is outrageous and he's also going to be a character that is going to awaken into crit rate, which is gonna be really nice, okay? That awakening into crit rate is completely absurd. But I'm assuming He's another character with the charged up, like the, the the multiple applications of an E, right? He has two charges on his E. I can pretty much, once again, take everything I'm going to say with a grain of salt. I can pretty much guarantee you that they've done with every other character, Sucrose, Ganyu, Amber. There's gonna be a constellation to take his two charge into a three charge, okay? You can also pretty much confirm that the scaling on his E is gonna be crazy, because it has to be. It has to be, right? It has to be. I can also say, if you have an Albedo, and you have an Albedo at C4, first of all, you're probably a whale, but you will have synergy because Zhao is going to be a plunge attack boy. Okay, he will be a plunge attack boy. The nice thing about Zhao is that he's just gonna be very solid. He has, a, he has very good HP and defense stats. Um, and also he does have a future constellation, most likely, that's going to increase his uh, mitigation capabilities. So I do think Xiao is going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful addition to a main DPS of any team. I do think that. Can I be wrong? Maybe, maybe he's trash. Shit, maybe they'll make him a goddamn healer. Why I run Xiao as a healer. <laughs> 
future video coming soon. But I want to show you some gameplay of God and quick before I go any further um, into this video. We're going to start here. We're going to drop the E. We're going to go like this. We're going to go Venti. We're going to go God you. Okay, it's going to AOE everything. It's going to be the shit out of everything. We wait, we wait, we wait. We E again one more time. Okay. We're going to drop the alt. We're going to go God you. We're going to E. We're going to pop. We're going to charge again. Charge again. Boom. Boom. And Venti. Death. And then Ganyu. Death. Okay? Now that run, it didn't really seem that impressive, right? It didn't really seem that good. Okay? Yeah, you know, we got, you know, 20, 20 second clear. Now, to the to some people, that might have seemed like a good run for whatever reason. Okay? It might have it might have seemed like a good run, right? I mean, 20 seconds for a domain run? That's not that bad. Okay, so now, now, let me stop trolling, and now I'm going to show you what Ganyu can actually do, okay? Let me show you what Ganyu can actually do. So we're going to start the run, we're going to Albedo, we're going to press E, we're going to press Q, we're going to go Bennett, we're going to press Q, we're going to go Ganyu, we're going to press Q, we're going to E, we're going to Venti, we're going to start, we're going to do this, we're going to go Ganyu, we're going to shoot the ground, we're going to Ganyu, we're going to shoot the ground, and just like that, hey, runs over. Okay, so that is the shit that Ganyu can do. Okay, now that seven second run may have also seemed pretty good, right? It may have seemed pretty good. I'm gonna tell you this right now. You can go to my Twitch TV. I have beaten that domain in three seconds. I have beaten it in three seconds due to Ganyu. Three seconds, three fucking seconds. I have beaten that shit with Ganyu. Her power scaling is outrageous, okay? Now the nice thing with Zhao is that Ganyu does take a little bit more finesse, a little bit more skill to use, but Zhao is going to be giga unga bunga. This is going to be Zhao gameplay. You're going to go, you're going to put on the curse mark, you're going to uh, abandon the Ochiha clan, you're gonna dash around, you're gonna jump in the air like a fucking pogo stick, you're gonna dash around, and that's gonna be it. There's not really any missing. The thing about Ganyu is, is if you miss a charged shot, you do no damage, right? You can't really miss a goddamn auto attack. You can't, okay? And the other thing is, is that, yeah, you can go the pussy way of Ganyu and just shoot the ground, but then you're missing 200% damage scaling, which isn't really viable, especially if you're a free-to-play player. Okay? You need all the damage that you can get because you might not have anything back and Ganyu up. You might have a level 80. You might have plus 12 artifacts, not plus 20. All that shit, your talents might be fucking ridiculous, okay? But Zhao is going to be a lot easier to play than Ganyu. He is. It's just, the thing that I want to express to y'all is that I know there's a lot of players who's, who are struggling in the game. If there is a character that you should roll for, it's probably going to be Ganyu. If Zhao's better than Ganyu, I mean, good God. I, I don't know what the fuck they could have possibly done. I don't know. Send me this video again. Clip me this. I don't know what the fuck they could have done to make Zhao better than Ganyu in all roles. But if they do, fuck me. Zhao's gonna be awesome. For sure. But Ganyu is so goddamn ridiculous that she breaks the fucking game. So if you're looking for a very strong, very strong character, go for it, okay? Ganyu's ridiculous. And look, dude, man, she looks fucking great. So does Zhao. But I don't really know what else to say, okay? Ganyu is so goddamn broken. I feel like she's going to be the best character in the game for a long, 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 long time. Zhao's going to be dope. I mean, he is. And if you like him, go for it. Uh, if you like God, you go for it. At the end of the day, you should be playing who you want. But when it comes to people who really care about numbers, I, I don't know what they could do to possibly make a character better than Ganyu. She's so outrageous. She's so fucking outrageous. And if they make Zhao stronger than Ganyu, well, then I'm going to say this right now, Mahoyo, you better have some better content. You better have some harder content. Because right now, Ganyu can sneeze on enemies and explode them. Tartalia can sneeze on enemies and explode them. Venti can trivialize the entire fucking game. I don't know, dude. It's up to you. It's a, it's a really hard decision. Zhao or Ganyu, you have a guaranteed broken unit or you can take your chances. Over these next two days, we might see a surprise buff for Zhao. And if I see that, I will make a video instantly, especially if it's up while Ganyu is still active. I will attempt to warn y'all. And if you want that warning, like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Y'all people who have to be careful with your gems, unlike me, are in a very tough spot. 
Either go with the guaranteed most broken character in the goddamn game in every single role, or take your chance with Zhao because he's hot as fuck. Anywho, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm gonna get the streaming at twitch.tv forward slash Techdown. Self promotion. If you have any questions, you can always come there and ask me anything. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.